Melting glaciers, rising water levels and soaring temperatures are no joke people. We are basically living in a giant oven. But fear not, countries around the world are investing in renewable energy and the returns are looking pretty sweet. But are we really headed in the right direction as responsible citizens of this planet? Or are we just putting a band-aid on a bullet wound? Let's dive in and find out. Are we anywhere close to a fossil fuel free energy system? The use of renewable energy has increased significantly across all metrics. While we have made great strides in the adoption of renewables for electricity generation, the same cannot be said for energy in general. We continue to rely heavily on fossil fuels for transportation and heating. While low carbon electricity accounts for 39% of total electricity generation, it accounts for only 16% of the total energy mix. This is because energy has two other major components, transportation and heating, both of which rely heavily on fossil fuels. China and India are big players in carbon emissions, despite growing renewable energy efforts. These economies rely heavily on energy because of the size of these economies and the energy requirements. The phase out of fossil fuels will be gradual. Thus, a mix of fossil fuels and clean energy would be preferable to systems that only use clean energy. The percentage consumption of fossil fuel-based electricity has reduced in all major developed and emerging market economies over the last two decades. Let's look at some major developed and emerging economies that have been front-runners in adopting renewable electricity. The United States has prioritized solar and wind energy. The electricity production from these sources increasing at 84% and 15% CAGRs respectively over the last decade. The cost of electricity generation from solar has decreased due to lower prices for utility scale photovoltaic modules globally. Wind energy costs have also decreased due to improved technologies, economies of scale and competitive supply chains. The cost of energy for solar and wind power plants in the US is among the lowest. In addition, wind and solar power purchase agreements have been competitive with other sources and the government has provided incentives such as tax credits. As conventional power plants age, their operating costs rise, making wind and solar power plants more attractive. The US has seen a surge in clean energy innovation and entrepreneurship. The UK has seen significant growth in wind energy with more than a seven-fold increase in electricity production from wind in the last decade. Off the coast of Yorkshire, it hosts the world's largest offshore wind farm and wind power accounted for a record 50.7% of the nation's energy mix in December 2020. However, concerns about reliability arose in 2021 when unfavorable weather led to a significant decline in wind-based electricity generation. Wind's power contribution fell to 15% in Q3 2021, forcing the government to restart gas and coal-fired power plants to control price volatility. The incident has sparked a debate about the dependability of renewable energy versus nuclear power. The government aims to produce one-third of the UK's electricity from offshore wind farms by 2030. It's now time to address the elephant in the room, India and China. China overtook the US as a top greenhouse gas emitter in 2005, and 7 out of 10 of the most polluted cities were in China in 2013 due to coal-fired power plants catering to two-thirds of its electricity consumption. China banned the construction of such plants for two years in 2016, but new construction increased when the ban was lifted. In 2020, China built over three times more new coal power capacity than the rest of the world combined and it currently generates 30% of total global emissions. However, China aims to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060 by increasing electricity generation from renewables sevenfold and accounting for 80% of the power mix. This will boost the labor market, productivity and life expectancy. On the other hand, India's renewable power generation capacity grew 
at a CAGR of 17.3% between the financial years of 2016 to 2020, with solar being the major source of renewable power due to its tropical climate. As of 2021, India has around 159 gigawatts of installed renewable capacity, with a target of 500 gigawatts by 2030, and solar is expected to contribute 55% of the capacity. The government has imposed a 40% duty on imported cells, wafers and modules to promote Make in India for solar cells and modules and introduced the PLI scheme to support manufacturing units. MNRE has taken various policy actions such as awarding must-run status to renewable power plants, removing tariff ceilings and setting up state-wise renewable purchase obligations. However, challenges such as poor financial health of distribution companies or discounts, land acquisition hurdles and grid stability issues remain. Policy implementation is crucial for the development of the sector. To reach net zero emissions, we need to kick our fossil fuel habit and switch to renewable electricity. This requires breakthroughs in battery storage and electrification of HVACs and transportation. It's gonna cost a lot, but governments are making policy changes to help. Winners will be determined by who can adapt quickly and effectively.